So here's what I think. Marriage is like an omelet. It's only as good as the eggs. I always say this because I think it gives us a clear picture. Uh, no matter how much you want the omelet to work, it's only as good as the eggs in it. So you can pray over an omelet all you want. It depends on the eggs you use. Omelets are determined by the quality of the eggs. Marriage is like the omelet. It's already together. So the question is, what made this omelet? I told you all about an experiment I did years ago. But boy, my mom fussed me with that one. I intentionally took an egg and I took a pin and I cracked the top of it with a little hole. Because when you crack an egg, put a hole in it, bacteria get inside and it rottens the egg. I didn't know eggs smelled so stink until that day. It's the foulest scent you want to smell. Because an egg is actually a dead animal. So I cracked this egg and it was stink. I put it in the refrigerator. You couldn't smell it, you know, because it was still cold. I was shocked to find out that the good egg was completely overtaken by the rotten egg. And the omelet was completely stink. You don't get the revelation yet? No matter how good you are, if the other person has cracks in their character, bacteria in their emotions, they got germs in their psychology, and they smell in their... Mm -hmm. When you crack with them, they win. Somehow we get this idea that after we get married, I'm going to change this person. Doesn't work, does it? No. So the best thing to do is don't crack at all. Don't be unequally yoked up with other people. But here's the worst part of the egg. Once you have an omelet, you can never get eggs again. And that's the ripping part. You can never be separated like you was. Do you know that folks in this room who are divorced are still carrying them old marriage with them. It stays with you. Your history is you. God gives counsel so that you can enjoy your memories. Comprende? When God gives you an instruction or a command, He may even give you a warning. He's really protecting your memory. So God says, do not fornicate. That means don't have sex with anybody you ain't in covenant with in marriage. Now, he doesn't explain a lot. He's protecting your memory. There are some things right now that you wish you could forget. And they're not pleasant. High school. College. Sorry, I didn't mean to take you back there, but... <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? So when God says, don't do certain things, He loves you so much, He don't want your memories to be a problem. He wants you to enjoy your memories. Because he knows what kind of creature he made. You carry your life with you. So make sure it's one that you want to carry. So here's my big question. You want people to marry you all the time. But here's a question you ever ask yourself. If you knew all you know about you, would you marry you? Think about it. I mean, think about what you know about you. The secret stuff you're doing. The private things no one knows about.
It's amazing how we, we want people to just take this thing with them. Take me home to you, with you. Well, what is you? Not who, what is you? <laughs> what is this I'm getting here? Would you marry you with all those habits you get? Spitting in the basin while you're brushing your teeth. <coughs> oh, mess of a spit. I mean, you want someone to live with that? Your bad bread in the morning, Jesus, Lord have mercy. You take this breath home, baby. Take it home. You know, what you mean, take it home? And you see, you know, humans are strange. They always look good in public. Look how nice you dress. I wonder how you look at 2 a.m. in the morning. I don't know. You take your shoes off. You know, take my shoes with you, baby. Take my, my toe jam home with you. We, 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 we just take it for granted folks want to marry us. Are you the kind of person that I can enjoy living with for 90 years? Think about it. Prepare yourself to do that for someone. Some people don't bathe. I'm not talking to you now. They're not, they're not in this room. I know them. They're not in this room. I'm sure of that. But when they pass you, you can smell, hey. Their glory follows them. And they want you to marry them. What do you have that I could live with forever? And that's what we ask people to do. So, take care of your life first. Matter of fact, here's another question. Could you live with you for the rest of your life? I think that's why he's trying to find someone, because you can't handle it. <laughs> like, <laughs> This is too much burden for me. I gotta share this mess with somebody else. <laughs> but we never think about these things, do we? We're like, hey, you know, uh, you love me. You, you will love me. I promise you will love me if you take me home forever. No, they won't. Mess them people's lives up. Are you a gift or are you a curse? Are you a promotion to me? Or are you a demotion? What, what is it that you have that will improve my life? Stay single until you get that all sorted out. Because that's what singleness is. It's about finding yourself.